Hello guys, welcome to this video. So I will still be looking at the WAIEC uh, Practicals, uh, Computer Studies Practicals 2024. In my previous video, I had already treated this number one question with, which involves uh, Microsoft Word. So for this video, I'm going to look at the second question which involves a uh, graphic uh, application. Okay, so let's begin. A, using a suitable graphic application, reduce redesign sorry redesign the image in figure one okay so first of all let's create uh, this image in figure one as um, uh, we're going to just you know like do exactly what we see here uh, i will advise that you do exactly what you see instead of trying to add your own design even though it looks funny but we're going to do we're going to just do it the way it looks so i'm going to open my uh, coral draw click on a new document here uh, I'm going to leave it as default and then open that. Okay, so now the color draw is open. So what I'm going to do, uh, by the way, I don't think the question indicated whether you should do it in portrait or landscape, but I'll prefer to do it in landscape. So I'm going to have my canvas in landscape. Okay, now the first thing I want to do is to create my circle, right? So I'm going to use the ellipse tool, create a circle. So I'm going to hold down. Uh, sorry, I'm going to uh, pick that up and then hold down my control key to just uh, create a perfect circle here. All right. Um, what's the next thing? So I'm going to uh, create one more circle. Um, let me see. So I'm going to do control C, control V to actually copy that. So I'm going to hold down my shift key and then expand it, expand this particular one, right? Let me see. I think this, this should be fine. Uh, yeah. So the next thing I want to do, I want to actually, okay, let me drop this ellipse too. You want to actually move it a little to the side here just to look like what you have in the question. Okay. So the next one is the semi-circle. So let's go ahead to create a semi-circle. So what I'm going to do, uh, I think already, okay, so since uh, this is already, I think, um, I can okay so this is uh, okay let me create another another circle so I'm going to just hold on my country control key one more time let me just create a little circle here something like this I think this should be fine let me just make it a little bigger okay uh, drop this and then move it to this point right so up here I'm going to click on the pie make any pie click that and then what I'm going to do in the angle here, I'm going to reduce the angle to one, 180 to give me a just a, a half, uh, you know, circle. So 180 right there. So you want to click outside and then that should give you something like this half. Um, let me just look at the image again and see. Okay, good. So what, I, what I'm going to do here also is to have uh, do control C, control v to paste right so i want to bring down that particular one here okay so let me just take it back let me undo let me take it back i uh, think i probably we need to hold uh, no not not shift but uh, control key so when you uh yes when you hold control key is going to actually move it down in line uh symmetrically with the other one so it doesn't have it to, to not be able to move to the side so you want to get it right and then you want to use the, the flip this um, mirror vertically um, uh, uh, icon here so you want to click that so that will mirror it I'll hold on my control key one more time and then move it down a little bit a little more something like this is fine okay so let me zoom in a little bit just to be able to have an idea of what I'm doing okay oops it's too much I think this this is fine. Um, what's the next thing there? So the next thing is to write high quality inside the uh, uh, what's it called the first quadrant of the circle. 
Is it quadrant? Not really. There's the half. Okay? The other half of the circle. So I probably will, okay, I will use the text tool, click on the text tool, and then write uh, high quality, I suppose, in capital letter, high quality. Quality, yeah. High quality. So um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to probably try to make it as small as possible and then move it inside here. Okay, this should be fine. So probably make it a little bigger, something like this. Um, so the next one will be 22, 22 cm. So I'll probably write 22 cm, 22, uh, I think space cm, something like that. So let me see, that's fair enough. So you want to also move it in here. Okay, uh, let me see, okay, that's big enough. So, um, I think I probably will make it just bring it in like this. Um, what's that font? Is there any okay? I don't have to bother about the font actually. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do here maybe make it smaller a bit and then click on it. Okay, let me just drop the text to and then click on it one more time so that this. Um, so you have to click it twice. So if I click on it one or uh, once, it's gonna be selected. So if I click one more time then the arrow, the rotation um, arrow will come out. So I'll click on the edge and then probably rotate it a little bit, just like um, what we have right there. Um, uh, do I have to, okay, so let me not rotate it too much, but I don't think it's that straight. So I probably will leave it like this, okay? So the next thing I want to do, I think I, want, I would like to give shading to the um, uh, half circles. I don't know what's half circle again. I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> so I'll give it shading, something like this. Um, I'll give this other one sh the same shading, something like this, just to uh, depict the kind of shading that they have in there, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is to have um, Nova, N-O-V-A, right? So I probably will use the text tool one more time and then have this Nova, okay? And then drop it and then move this into the space that we have here. How big is that? How small is that? Let me see. Um, I think this is fine. Probably just move that notch using my arrow key just to move it up a notch, something like this. Okay? So I think this is fair enough. This should be fair enough. Um, okay, so let me insert a uh, stainless steel. So what I'm going to do to insert stainless steel is to, um, let me see. Um, so I'm going to write the stainless steel. Is everything caps? Uh, I think so. So I'm going to write stainless, uh, stainless steel. Oops, steel. Yeah. Okay. So probably make it a bit smaller, something like this. And then, okay, let me just make it kind of bigger a little bit. So you want to, uh, when it's selected, just drop, drop your uh, text to. Then um, you want to go to text. You want to make sure it's selected. Actually, we go to fit to fit to path, and then um, fit it in here. Okay, so let me just fit it somewhere around like this. Okay, um, let me see. This is fine for me. So one thing I want to do is to flip it around. Oops, and then use this also, and then that should do it for me. So I can just move it here. Okay. So using uh, any of these, uh, mirror text vertically and then um, horizontally. So you'll be able to get it, switch it up to look like what I have here. All right? Good. So one more thing. I need to have the square in there. So uh, I need to. Okay, so let me just uh, make it uh, zoom out a bit. And then use the uh, rectangle tool. You want to. Uh, draw a square. So I'm going to use a control key to be able to give me like a perfect square, right? Um, okay, so probably I need to move it um, accordingly, something like this. So I think, let me see. So let me let me make it a bit uh, uh, smaller. So let me hold, I'll hold on my shift key while I resize. Uh, let me select again shift key while you resize so that all the sides will resize okay 
this should be fine. Uh, let me see one more time. Mm. Okay, mm, let me see. I think. Okay, so what I what I'm gonna do here? Let me just keep this one to the side, and then make everything. So select everything, and then probably resize everything by holding down your your shift key. Then resize as you as you hold on your shift key and resize. Okay, so I think this is fine. So uh, my box, I need to bring it in here. Okay, so I want to have a bit of space, something like this. So what I'm going to do, the square, I'm going to do Control C, Control V to paste, and then um, hold down my Shift key to enlarge it so that all sides will be enlarged. Something like this is fine. Okay, now uh, the next thing I want to do, so let me zoom in a bit, so because I'm going to add some lines somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to use um, what's it called two point line. So I'm going to click and hold, and then this option will come down here. Then I want to use a two point line here. So I will click here, click and hold, and then go to the next point and then release. The same thing, click and hold and then move to the next point and release it should, it should be fair enough okay so i'll do the same thing for every corner release that click and hold and then release that okay so i think this is this is fair enough okay so i can zoom out uh this should look a bit like what we have okay so let me zoom out oh fair enough so let me see print where is print um I'll go down to print preview. Let me go, to, go down to print preview. Let me see how it looks. I don't think it looks bad. So I think it's fair enough. So I can close that. And uh, yeah. Let me uh, click on drop my tools. Okay. Um, good. So let me see what was next. Is there anything I've not added here? I don't think so. So. What I probably might do is to combine everything. Maybe select everything. Uh, let me right click. Um, let me see. Is there any combination? Yeah, I can group it. Yes. So you can click on what? Group. So everything will be grouped so you can move them if you want. Okay. So all the elements are now together. Right. Good. So the B part now. So I've been able to create the... Uh, what's it called? The image. Okay. So now the B part, insert text box below the image and outline the uh, the steps taken in placing the text stainless steel. Okay. So, all right. So I can do that. So I can use um, a text box. So let me see. Um, let me use the, what's it called? The um, text tool. So I probably will write something like this. So let me have a text box. So the first thing I want to do is um, write the text first of all. Write the text. Write the text out. The text out. And select. And select it. That's, that's that. Select it. Then go to um take the text tab okay click on the text tab okay let me say click on the text tab click on the text tab then select select uh fit to path fit text to path text to path in the drop down or from the drop down from the drop uh, down menu and uh, move the the text at a desired uh, position okay so that's that. So I don't know if I'm correct, but like you get the gist of what I'm trying to do here. So these are the steps I took to add that that particular um, you know text to the path, right? So I probably will place it here. Okay. 
So that, that's enough to answer that, right? So the next one, the C part is insert a label as a footer and type in your index number and uh, email, okay? So what I'm going to do here, so I'm going to still use it, the text tool and then here, sorry, click on that and then I have my index number. So my index number can be one, two, three, four, five. I know that Wayek has so, so much uh, index number, something like that. So you can use this as your index number, okay? So I'm going to have, okay, so let me go down and then have my email. So my email is I, uh, let me use a, a small letter, I dot anolefo at uh, gmail, gmail.com, something like that. So that's my email, okay? You can actually reach me on this, right? Okay, so that's for that. So uh, I, I, it says header and type in. Okay, so insert a label as a header and uh, type in your full name, okay? So my full name will be up here. Sorry, my full name will be up here. Okay, so um, let me see. Um, so, okay, so let me just bring this down. Okay, let me just reshape it a bit, right? Something like this. And then bring the, this down a, a notch. So let's see if it's going to work for us. Uh, we can actually click and then uh, let me resize this a bit, make it a bit smaller, just to create a, a bit of space. So so that I don't, this my text don't go uh, on the margin, something like that when I'm printing. It probably might cut out. So I need to make sure that they are at the middle and then it, don't, it doesn't really, um, you know, get down to the margin. So. I'm going to go here, I'm going to have my text tool, and then I'll come here, and then I probably will add my name as the header. So this this will serve as the header. So Ikejuku Anolefo. Okay, so this is this will, this will serve as a header. So I think it's fine right here. So uh, the question never said that we should make it bigger, but I'll probably make it like to be up to 24, something like this. Okay, so and that's fair enough. So I'll probably leave it this way. Okay, so that's fine. Um, is there another thing that I'm missing there? So after that, save your work in the folder created on the desktop, okay? So I think we created a folder initially on the desktop as we were doing the number one uh, question. So of course, I will leave the link to the number one question in the description below. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll go back, go to file, go to save as. Um, you want to go to desktop. Um, let me see. There's a folder I created called, can I remember? Um, so let me see where it is. Is it here? Okay. So for, did I, I can't remember if I saved it, if I, if the folder is still here, probably for some reason. I've deleted it or okay okay look at it here so Wayek so I'm gonna save it right here did they even say the name I'm gonna save it with okay so I'm gonna just save it um, on the desktop like that so probably the wise thing to do is to save it with your name so I'm gonna save it my own my name Kichukwan or for something like that and then of course with your center number and candidate number something like that and then save it right there okay so that's fair enough. So print your work and submit to this uh, supervisor, okay? So let's see how our printout will look like when we go to print preview. So let me go to file, and let me go to print preview and then see how it looks. Hmm, it's not really looking bad. It's not really looking bad. So this is this is fair enough. So I think this should be able to fetch you your full mark. So if you're able to uh, do this, this should be able to fetch you about 15 marks, okay? All right, so that is it for this particular question. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be looking at the uh, number three aspect of this um, paper. All right, so thank you very much, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.